Hello, my name is Edward Lee, and I am a master's student studying computer science at the University of Aizu in Fukushima, Japan. Today, I want to talk about my latest project, which I call Genetic Reverb, a VST audio effect plugin that generates random room impulse responses using a genetic algorithm and convolves the impulse response with an incoming audio signal to perform artificial reverberation. The genetic algorithm is one of the most common algorithms used in a subfield of artificial intelligence known as evolutionary programming. It is a meta-heuristic that is modeled after natural selection in the theory of evolution, and it is used in a number of optimization and search problems today. However, the potential uses of the genetic algorithm in music and audio processing applications is yet to be explored, which I hope to provide with the plugin I am sharing with you today. In our implementation of the genetic algorithm, we randomly generate several room impulse responses as our initial population, with each impulse response representing an individual. Then, we use a few standard acoustic parameters such as T60, early decay time, clarity, etc. as a basis for determining the fitness value, or in our case error value, of an impulse response. The main loop of the genetic algorithm consists of selection, crossover, and mutation, with the generation through the loop representing a generation of time. This is where we modify the impulse responses at random until we get one that is close to our ideal impulse response, which is based on the values that we specify for the acoustic parameters. To generate the initial population, we use a modified version of the image method, which means that the impulse responses in the initial population are modeled after those of box-shaped rooms. But thanks to the genetic algorithm, we can apply crossover and mutation to reshape these rooms to our liking meaning that instead of trying to replicate the impulse response of a real-life room, we can instead create virtual rooms that are greatly malformed, or perhaps even malformed enough to the point where the room is impossible to replicate in the physical world. In addition, because we are able to add some of the standard acoustic parameters as actual parameters in our plugin, we can easily control not only the randomness, but also the overall shape of the impulse response that you want as well. Okay, so now I've opened up Ableton Live and loaded our plugin into the send channel over here. And I programmed all the instrument tracks over here so that they're all sent to our plugin to receive our reverberation effect. So for example, I have a drum loop over here that by itself sounds like this. Now let's hear what it sounds like with our reverb plugin on. So here I have implemented five parameters that control the shape of the impulse response. And every time I change one of these parameters, it activates the genetic algorithm and generates a new impulse response using these five parameters. Actually, we had two new impulse responses in effect, one for each of the left and right channels, producing a stereo effect. You have the option to change this back to mono if you want, uh, so that it generates only one impulse response for both channels. Since the impulse responses are generated at a sample rate of 16 kHz, having resampling on means that the impulse response will be upsampled to match whatever sample rate Ableton is using, or the sample rate of whatever DAW you, de you decide to use. Changing one of these parameters will trigger the genetic algorithm as well. And finally, because of the amount of variability that can occur between two random impulse responses, I've also implemented the ability to control the gain of each channel separately as well. So that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.